All right, here we're trying to solve another trigonometric equation. Now this one has a GCF. So let's begin by noticing that both these terms have a cosine. So if we factor out that cosine x, what will be left is 1 plus tangent x. Once you get it factored, you then set each factor equal to 0. So we have cosine x equals 0, or 1 plus tangent x equals 0. Now on the unit circle, we know cosine is 0 on one of the axes. So here we have 0 comma 1, and here we have 0 comma negative 1. So cosine is 0, cosine is an x value, so cosine is 0 at 90 degrees, or any multiple of 360. And then cosine is going to be 0 at 270 degrees, plus 360n. All right, so there's two solutions for that term. Now let's look at this one. If we subtract 1, we'll get tangent x equals negative 1. And tangent is negative in q2 and q3. So we can work through the reference angle theorem. And so for tangent x equals negative 1, we can get the reference angle by looking at tangent x equals 1, x equals tangent inverse of 1, which we know, well, this is going to be the reference angle, we know is going to be 45 degrees. So if the reference angle is 45 degrees, and this is the x that we're looking for, in Q2, we can say x equals 180 degrees minus the reference angle. In this case, 180 degrees minus 45 is 135. And then we'll tack on 360 degrees on that. And we'll get infinitely many answers, coterminal in quadrant 2. Now in quadrant 3, this is the reference angle. So 45 degrees there. Quadrant 3. To get the angle that we want, we need to take 360 degrees minus the reference angle. In this case, 360 degrees minus the 45 degrees, x will be equal 315 degrees. And then we'll tack on the 360 degrees n, and we have infinitely many answers, coterminal in quadrant 3. So here we have it. The original trigonometric equation had a GCF. We set each factor equal to 0, and we got infinitely many answers. There you have it.